Welcome to The Traveling Professors. I'm Professor Bob. And I'm Professor Sherry. And together, we are The, the Traveling, Traveling Professors. Professors. Welcome to The Traveling Professors, show number 112D. This is where we are going to be visiting Scotland. Now, the other place that we stayed in Northern England, we only stayed two days, and that was to get save up three days for a return trip to Ireland. So we have three days in each of the following cities. So we will be leaving Halt Whistle and go to Glasgow. I'll be in Glasgow for three days. I will spend one day going to the Charles Rennie Mackin Tosh material, the museums and all of that, because Sherry is a big fan. Then we will do a trip from Glasgow out into the Scottish countryside. I think we see Stirling Castle and that one along with a variety of other things. Then we leave Glasgow and we go to Inverness hoping to see the Loch Ness Monster. So we're in Inverness for three days. Two days, we are out in the countryside. So we're going to go to the Isle of Skye. We're going to visit Elendoran Castle. We're going to see the Uckhart Castle. We are probably going to take a cruise of Loch Ness and some other things as well. We may go to Culloden, the battlefield. Then we'll take a first class train to finish our train trip in uh, Scotland from Inverness to Edinburgh. And we'll be in Edinburgh for three days, uh, seeing a variety of things. There's so much to see in Edinburgh. We could be there a week, easy. But we will certainly be going to the castle. That is our first shot. And we're also going to go to Balmoral Palace if it is open. If it isn't open, we will probably go to the Scottish Museum as well as um, Greyfriars Cemetery. And then the next day, we are going to take a trip to the Botanical Garden, which is one of the best in the world. And Sherry is a big flower and plant nut, so we'll be be doing that and then we're going to go and see the Britannia the Queen's old yacht and tour it and then any other things that may pop up because the next day we're flying back to Dublin well we get up early in the morning to get catch the train at Halt Whistle we'll have to make two changes before we get in the Glasgow so we should be in Glasgow by noon one o'clock uh, we will then go to our hotel and in Glasgow we're staying at the Hotel M we have stayed in one of these in Paris, and we really like it. It's an ultra-modern. You can really, literally check in with your phone and, and work everything out, but it is also well-located near all of the Charles Rennie Macintosh stuff. Uh, but once we're settled in, then we'll go and get on the metro. Glasgow has a nice metro. And we'll go back to the city center, water, wander around the city center, and see the art museum. And of course, at the Art Museum, I want to see the statue of the Duke of Wellington, where they usually have a traffic cone on the top of its head. So we'll just kind of be wandering around, seeing what's what's going on in Glasgow. The next day, we will be doing our Charles Rennie Mackintosh day. So we'll walk down the street a couple of blocks to the library school of art that he designed, and all the glassware and all the furniture. Then we will head off to the Hunterian Museum, which has all sorts of furniture designed by Macintosh and nice displays. Then we will also go to the Kelvin Grove Museum of Art. They also have Macintosh furniture and art, but they also have uh, the Dolly painting of the crucifixion. Although it may be on the loan to someone, we're not sure if that will be available to us. But the highlight of the day is probably tea. We're going to go to the Macintosh at the Willows and have tea. And this is a place that was designed by him. The furniture was designed, glassware, everything. So I have advanced tickets for us to sit down and have a nice hour and a half tea. Then we will be relaxed for the day. The next morning, we have a big trip. Now we're going to be heading off to Block Castle. We'll then go to Aberfoyle and Loch Lomond see some of the towns. Hopefully we'll get to see some Highland cattle as well. We'll have some beautiful vistas of Loch Lomond. Then we will head off to Stirling Castle and spend quite a bit of time at Stirling Castle, going in it and around it. This may be one of those situations where Sherry and I may have to split up. I, I certainly want to see all the battlements and that type of stuff, and Sherry certainly wants to see all the interior stuff. So we may separate the two jobs and share the pictures. One of our favorite Christmas shows that we watch that I've saved uh, from YouTube is one that Rod Stewart put on in Sterling Castle. It has Kylie Minogue and a bunch of other people, but it is a really, really nice Christmas show. Then the next day we will get up and get on the train, one stop, just straight up, and we're heading to Inverness. 
and we'll be spending the three days. We have three days in Glasgow, three days in Inverness, three days in Edinburgh. We're uh, going to be staying in the uh, Columba Hotel just across uh, the River Ness. Beautiful location and handy because all of our trips, they start right in front of the hotel. And most of the views that you have out of the hotel are of the castle of Inverness. But we'll be walking that first day around seeing the castle, seeing the main town area, but also because they have the largest used bookstore in Scotland. So we will be rummaging through that to see if we can find some treasures to weigh us down on the way back. The next morning, we're heading off to the Isle of Skye. So we'll be going by or on the Caledonian Canal. We will see Loch Ness. We'll see the Uckhart Castle. We'll see Loch Clune. And we will also see Elendoran Castle, which is just magnificent. And then we will finish by going up to see what is known as the Old Man of Store. That could be a little questionable as rugged as it is in that area, but that's our tour for just the whole day. And then the next day we're back at it again. Again, we're going to go around Loch Ness and we're going to see, spend more time at Uckhart Castle. And then we'll be seeing the Beauty Priory, the old Middle Ages church and priory. Uh, there's a stop at a whiskey distillery, the Singleton Whiskey Distillery. I'll have to keep an eye on Sherry because he really, she really loves the copper that goes into the brewing devices. But I'm sure we'll pick up a bottle of good Scott whiskey. We will be stopping at the battlefield of Culloden and see various things. They have markers where various clans at this battle, which was a disastrous defeat for the Scots uh, took place and they have a nice visitor center. And then our last stop is at the Clava Cairns. It's a smaller version of what we saw at New Grange. It doesn't have the, the top on it. It's It's been flattened out and you can walk in it so you can see it straight and you'll see some of the other stones that are around on the exterior. So there's a whole site here of Cairns to look at, which are burials. And then we head back to Inverness, for a nice dinner and rest before we head off to Edinburgh. Now I was going to add Edinburgh in here, but I'm going to think we'll just cover it with the last part in Ireland. Sherry and I hope you enjoyed the tour. Please come by our YouTube channel at Bob Packett and please subscribe and leave some comments. Thank you very much. I've been doing podcasting on history for over 15 years. I've got over 4,000 shows, and I've done CDs, which of course can be sent out as USBs. So if you would really like to get more on history for free, then come by my website, as you see here, historyaccordingtobob.com, and see what's there. So thank you very much again.